couldn't, I couldn't wait to come. That's what I told him what was going on here. I remember last year's breakfast. Last year's uh, dinner and event it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So we've we got a... Thank you. One minute. Thank you.
அங்கால போனாதான் நல்லா
Americana famosa. to hear it you can't do it behind uh, closed doors you've got to speak right into it so I'm putting you in practice not that you haven't in, like had 10 years of it <laughs> all right good practice all right I know I'm trying to fix 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that. Are you filming right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Excuse me. So, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Would you mind? Can you move a little bit, please? Please, thank Watch you. Watch my tea there. Yes, yes. I have to move, Dad. Yeah, that's okay. That's enough. That's enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we, we are not going to talk for a long time because the highlight you. of an invader in Foster, I am the mayor of the municipality of Clarington. And, and Suku's busy lining things up here. Uh, Suku, my, my role this evening is to, for 15 years, um, be summarized for uh, But there's something else that you should know that over the 15 years, the events that have been held here and the funds that have been raised, uh, Suku, you have actually raised more money and donated more money than several of the nuclear supply chain organizations. These are multi-billion dollar organizations. And we've got Sugu who is standing way taller than all of them. So the next time we do this, we need some inspirational music. Suku can walk down a red carpet. No, we don't have that. Sorry. But honestly, on, on behalf of our entire community, the good that you do, uh, and Clarington Council, uh, allow me to present the, uh, the, the small token of congratulations. Thank you. And I've got uh, Councillor Willie Wu, who is going to bring greetings from the region. Oh, thank you very much, Mayor Foster. And it does give me great, great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Sunrise Annual Charity Barbecue. And I bring greetings on behalf of Chair John Henry and members of Regional Council. Uh, what a great event, and in some ways, Suku, has it ever rained on this barbecue? I don't think it's ever rained. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger till you can't find a parking spot. <laughs> So, Suku, on behalf of the Regional Municipality of uh, Durham, thank you very much for all you do. And this is what you call giving back to the community that supports you, you support them. This is all about supporting small business, and this is some, uh, a small business giving back. So, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I will try to keep this very short because unlike Mayor Foster and Regional Councillor Wu, I'm not as experienced at this, but I'll give it my best shot. Uh, my name is Doug Ellis. I am representing MPP Todd McCarthy, the Honorable Todd McCarthy, MPP for Durham, and the Associate Minister of Transportation. And what a fantastic day and a fantastic event, Suku, that you are doing. Uh, having lived in Clarington myself for 23 years, uh, your business, your philanthropy and charitable giving is well known and very much appreciated for all you do and Allison and Salvation Army team for all you do for our community. Thank you so much. It serves so many people. So on behalf of the Honorable Todd McCarthy, we wanted to present to you, Suku, this congratulatory scroll uh, for your long-standing community spirit charitable giving. Sunrise Griddle enjoys a stellar reputation, providing quality food, friendly service, and an overall great customer experience. I wish you the very best. Well, I just want to add my thanks to Suku, first of all, uh, on behalf of the Salvation Army here in Bowmanville. Uh, my name is Auxiliary Lieutenant Allison Shaskowski, and I'm the church pastor and director of operations. And this is only my second um, event with Suku, but there is a long, long history, um, 15 years that we're celebrating, and so we're very, very grateful. And so I bring greetings from our team locally, and a massive thank you to Suku and to his 
team. Uh, all of uh, his team at the restaurant are so very, very good to us. Even when we're coming after church or during the week, we're always treated very, very well. But most of that, your um, heart and your kindness in giving and making the community a priority, not just the Salvation Army, uh, but our entire community in Bowmanville. For me, only being new to Bowmanville a year myself is really second to none. And so thank you um, from us locally. Um, and with that as well, um, Suku did ask me on behalf of the Salvation Army locally um, to present a certificate to the mayor to receive for Aaron O'Toole, who has also worked with you very closely over the years uh, before my time, but has been um, a miraculous support as well. And so, uh, Mayor Foster, I'd like to present this certificate to you um, on behalf of the Salvation Army to be given to Aaron O'Toole for his service as well. With that said as well, um, I would present to you um, a representative from the Salvation Army Ontario Division, Major Wendy Broom, and she is going to bring provincial uh, greetings to you from our divisional headquarters, and this is Major Wendy. Good evening everyone. I'm just overwhelmed when I get to come to events like this and I see the support of the community to the Salvation Army and it certainly has held true tonight. We wear these little uh, shields on our jackets with the Salvation Army. Allison's wearing one. Many of us are wearing them. And they say underneath it, giving hope today. And as I think about what that really means, to me, that really means that it takes a village to do that. And it takes representatives that come alongside of the Salvation Army and support in so many ways, whether that's practically or it's financially or it's standing at a kettle at Christmas time or it's helping us give out a hamper or a gift card at Christmas time. We're all through the year. And honestly, on behalf of the Salvation Army Ontario Division, to which I represent tonight and every day in this end of Ontario, we could not do that if it wasn't for the support of the communities to which we serve in. So I just want to say on behalf of the Divisional Headquarters in Ontario East, thank you very much. Thank you for Allison and for all of you for all the work that you do in partnership because it is a partnership within the Salvation Army. And so we're grateful and God bless you all. All right, good evening everyone. Before I say few words I'd like to welcome to my lovely staff on the stage. Before that, if you don't mind, uh, G, Tammy, Sindhu. Uh, all right, and I've got, yeah, to my cool. All the city officials and come and bless us to, it's not only this year and all the way from, from the day one. So, um, the, all of these ones won't happen without my lovely staff. I'd like to congratulate them. I want you to guys congratulate them, everybody, please, to all their hard work, and then especially with uh, during a uh, COVID time and everything. So we are still here because of uh, because of them, and of course, it's everybody's support and everything. So um, not only 15 years, as you know, that since my day one of food industry, it's all my all my agenda to, to give back to my community. Um, that's why we stand here. And then, um, you know, that's, that's been blessed. We are here for 15 years. So, um, um, and also, it, my commitment from to that, you know, we keep, we're gonna keep going with this um, commitment. We're gonna support our communities always. We're gonna give back to the community, especially with the Salvation Army and the community care. That's my two favorite ones. So we keep supporting for them. So I'd like to thank you for once again, for all my staff and all my, you know, all my guests, every single one. It's my part of my family. for have been years in old Bowenville, Clarington. And then thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody. And for mayor and all the officers who have been supporting. It's not only the way they're supporting for today, for day one to that for every single event, every single request, everything that so they always with us to supporting for the community. Once again, thank you for all their from for them, please. And also, I like to um, I like to introduce my. I have a special guest to uh, bring it to the stage. I don't know if you could come in. Uh, I have a Mr. Ron here. Um, he is my um, he is my first guest for the restaurant, and he is here to congratulate us. And then um, I'd like to welcome to the stage. Um, 
Thank you, Ron. So, thank you, thank you. So he is my first guest, first guest to open. When I opened my door, he was uh, he came to my door and he um, wished me luck. And you remember the day, right? You remember the day. And thanks for coming in today to wish me. I'm here, 15 years old. Your wishes too. So, I have uh, now 20, 22 great grandchildren that can come. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Say a couple of words to them. Uh, I thank the uh, the people that have uh, joined. It. Uh, we we stop here for lunch and uh, all the time, but uh, I do appreciate the fact that now that I go to the army as that's as a um, a member of their church, I just want to uh, thank them. And thank you for all you do together. Thank you, thank you. And this is a lot of good for us. Thank you. Once again, keep enjoying the event. And I'd like to special thank you to our firefighters today. And, uh, <laughs> so they are always been supported for every event. And once again, they're okay. all pretty much the same guys. And sure. once again, thank you so much for your support. Keep going, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Once again, thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you. The band guys, so guests, uh, thank you for all the They've been supporting us for every year as well, too. So a special thank you for you guys as well, too. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Also, the last request for me, I'd like to invite my lovely family. My wife and two kids are here, please.
Yes. I'm looking at a 10. You like that one? 10 is also good. Yeah. 10 is good. 11 is good. 12 is same. Yeah. 11 and 12 is same. Uh, now, do you have to buy a case or can you go underwater without buying a case? Without a case, you can go in the water. Okay. I went through. I'm going to get a 10. It's a little cheaper. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> this one is good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Trem op, trem op. Yes, hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, let me get Millie. One second. Oh, we need to call. My son's in the Navy. And uh, so she's like, how do you do it? Oh, all the time. She asks me all the time. And it's pretty, it's like, it's like, it's like, Go by, come on up, buddy. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, eh? All right, no problem. So today we have uh, the Salvation Army. Uh, there are heroes, actually, along with Sugu and his crew, of course, the Salvation Army. There are heroes, but. They have a huge connection to my hometown back in Newfoundland. So the promise is made that we would do a couple of gospel pieces and a couple of Newfie tunes for them. Uh, until, until the band comes there we do. Uh, yeah. So uh, our path
the dust clouds rolling. A voice was chanting as the fog was melting. This land was made for you and me. Everybody, this land is your land. This land is my land. From Bonnie Vista to Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Wahoo. Try it a cappella, see what we do. This land is your land, this land is my land. From Bonifista to Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. So, uh, we have to do a song from down east, of course. Came into this world of woe, one dark and stormy night. He was born on board his father's ship, she was flying too. But 25 or 30 miles southeast of Bacaloo, Hope Jack was every inch of say.
such a worthy, worthy cause, you know, so thank you all for supporting this and spend money, buy raffle tickets, buy food and make donations for the cause. And the, the Salvation Army is here and they do a wonderful job in our, in our community, so please support them and we are a very supportive community. That's one of the things about Clarendon, we are all united and we are in this together, it's not any one person's fight, it's, it's all of us to make life better for each and every one of us that live in this wonderful community. Is there any place greater than Clarendon to live? No. no, I don't think so. And we have the firefighters who always come out to lend support as well. I know you want to listen to some more great music, so I'm not going to be here much, say much more. You know, politicians, we could go on and on. How about Angela? Forever. Angela, uh, yeah. come, come say a few words, yeah. come on. And we have Ron Cut, cut him off. Yeah. <laughs> I am sure Councillor Hooper would have to say a few words. So again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> 
Thank you, Granville. I'd just like to say thank you very much, everyone, for coming this afternoon. I'm sure everyone appreciates it and uh, for what you do for the community. It's amazing. And giving back to the Salvation Army. I'd just like to send a shout out to my friends over here, the, the firefighters. Uh, thank you for coming out. I know they really appreciate the fact you do come out. And for all you people, too, coming out here. It's amazing you're supporting this gentleman here in his business for all these years. And I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for what you do for the community. Thanks very much. Hey, Ron. Ron Hooper, of course, is the uh, drummer and uh, <laughs> with the Charles Street Band. They've been they've been working for community for years and years. And now that he's sort of semi-retired from everything, he made me a promise that he would he would uh, come and, and drum on the uh, Peruvian what is it called? The cajon. Cajon. Cajuns are other things, are they? Yeah, there's something different. Yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, uh, can I do a song, Suku, before you uh, make the big draw? Uh, yeah, but then what time is it? Oh, it is. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, my ball. Oh, sorry. I, I can't okay. win this. <laughs> no problem. Okay, you win. So you guys uh, pick the items. So Suku, yeah. can you walk to this table right here? Yeah, so I don't know who... Uh, you guys have to come over there, please. And then, yeah. Should I get? Is this a pole dance? <laughs> 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 oh, Jenny, she's probably. I'm gonna do pole dance. Red pants. Check her pockets. <laughs> the microphone won't read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what's? Yeah. Okay. So, we did that. So, we just wanna. All right. You guys. Okay, uh, okay, so I'm the loudest, so I get to call the number out. 69134174. We can't read the name on the back, so you're going to have to check your tickets. Read the number again. Just the last four digits, okay? Yep. 4174. <laughs> well, I mean, you can come on in. Come, on in. come over, Ronnie. We're going to make a fuss of you. It's going to suit you. Yeah, where is it? Yeah. That's what I want. It's perfect. Ron, this is for you, buddy. Okay, so let's. Did you win the first one? Oh, way to go. Yeah, that's <laughs> you, you've, al <laughs> you've already made your speech, so. <laughs> Ron, Ron got another bag, that's all he needs. And it's going to go well with his suits. Suma! What, what's the number? No, no, don't need the number. Don't need the number. Suma! Suma. Where is she? She's one with the boys too. Oh, she might have left. She might have left already. Okay, so okay, we'll put that ticket on. All right, she might have left, but I know who okay. she was. I'll do that for now. Uh, give me a little piece. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah, I might not. I'll put them both back. I can take it in if you want. Okay. Make it draw. Ooh. I just figured. Come on, Allison, pick my number. I'm quitting. Uh, do you want the number? Or? Yes. <laughs> the name? Laura Hartland? And the number is... The last, last four digits, 4188. 4188. 
She's gone home. 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 Good reason for that. What do you think? He wants a hug. It's like they're doctors. Like, yeah. Do it the other way. They got two kids on there. Come on back. So the last, did, the last four digits, 3969. Nine. And there's no name on it. It's got the sunrise uh, stamp on it. Does that mean anything? Sue, who gets that prize? <laughs> so that's a number. They put, Three, nine, six, nine. They, they didn't put yeah. their name on it, though. Oh. Okay, so we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Another draw? Yeah. You want to go and get another hug, girl? <laughs> she won't refuse! <laughs> Yeah, but... Okay. Oh, just tell them all to come here. I said... Yeah. 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 Number 3963, and the name is G. G. G with... G. G. Oh, that's good. What did you win? One of these. Oh, I won cookies. Oh, you won a bacon and eggs. I wanted to eat. G, G, you're going to put on some weight now, girl. <laughs> 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 Working so hard to keep it out, too, eh? Yeah. Okay, who's drawing? <laughs> so am I. Calling the clowns. That's my middle name. Fun. <laughs> yeah. There you go, baby. Thanks. Do you want your ticket, Jake? Mm. This one has a name. Ah. Okay. Last four digit, digits, 7909. Name is George Cullen. Or Georgie. 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 Georgie? Georgie. Georgia. Okay. So we'll put that stick in there. Oh, I am. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, oh, I'm uh, figures. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Nicole. No, I can three, nine. three nine seven nine. Nicole C. Nicole C. That's in Catholic. Oops, sorry. Uh, wrong, wrong church, right pew. Christian. There you go. Let's include everybody. Your turn. All right. Pick yours. Okay. <laughs> not unless your name is Peter. So it's not Peter. Uh, Peter, Ray, Peter Ross. Uh, yeah, last digits is 1287. Is that Peter? No, that's no, Scott. No, that's Scott. All right. Do we have a Peter? Nobody wants to win. Okay, they will, uh, they'll come, they will come, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we usually call. Okay, uh, Barb? <laughs> Barb, I can't pronounce that. Polinsky, 7946. Where are you, Barbara? Did you go home? Barb. All these great prizes. I know. I would be sticking around. Well, we have a lot more numbers, right? No, I know did you buy anything? Any of those? Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I draw, I'll dig around. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I can read your phone number, you can get five. But if you scribble your phone number, then you. Where's Liz? Yeah. Fictitious names, that's what I'm thinking. Sorry. No, oh, 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 oh. Sorry. No, did Sorry. I step on your toe? No, no. Okay. I thought I stepped on your toe. I was like, oh my goodness, I apologize. You can dance for the next one. 
Okay, Stan Kinsman, you win with number uh, 1269. 1269, and that's Sam. Ooh, I like that. Oh, no. Angela Anderson, number 4177. Oh, no. Angela. Angela. What did we just say? Huh? Six. Six. Rice, a rice cooker, look at that. Granville, just like Jamaica. Any, any differences all alike? 035. 0030404. Veronica, where is Veronica? Oh, there's Veronica. And we have Dennis with 4013. Gee, she was called, yeah. Dennis? Dennis? Oh, it's inside. Where are you, Dennis? Oh, you It's a no, no show. Yeah. How many more? Jane. Oh, Jane. 3992. Jane, that's a good one, too. Come up, girl. Yeah. One of our singers, Jane Van Der Hoot, I never can say her name, Jane Van. A good Dutch name. What'd you get? Oh, that was no. <laughs> good idea, another toaster. Here's the next one. Brenda Reaver, number 3999. 999. Oh. Brenda, any Brendas? Yeah. Better than six, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this one's next. Oh. Oh. Next. Next. Oh. Next. All right, we got last with number 1315. Last. 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 Where are you? Four more. There's Les. Les is on his way. Les. Yeah. If I knew a song about Les, I'd sing it, but I don't. Les is more. Les is more. Oh, this one doesn't have it. That's James. What do you want to do with this, James? Here. Put it in the garbage? No, that's... She uh, got hers, so that's good. Oh, perfect. It's your own one. Well, these are the big ones. Yeah. Oh, the crock pot still? No, no, no. There's a season pass. All right. The crock pot is the next one? Yeah. We have Nicole C. Uh, 4195. No. Nicole, where are you, darling? Nicole. No. Right now we're off to the big ones, right? Okay, here's the one of the big TVs. Okay, so... Uh, I was just going to grab most. Did you take it off? Oh, yeah, I got her. Was it? No, no that's no. Nicole. Nicole. We got her right there. Yeah. And this is a winner of the TV, right? One, One of the TVs. Yeah. yeah. The big prize is all gone. Yeah. yeah, all the other prizes are gone. So, Barb Politsky, I think we called a number before, 7945. Did Barbara leave? She must have. But her phone number is on there, Suzo. Yeah. <laughs> so for the next TV set, I want you to be here. Uh, Latilda. Well, that's Matilda. Though. Latilda Coons. And the number is 877. Oh, sorry. 3971. 3971 for Latilda. And the phone number is on there. So, there you go, my love. All right. And does that do it for the... That's it. Yeah. So, uh... I wanted the television. Had <laughs> 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 you win, you know? Thank you, and thanks for coming to this event. And uh, keep enjoying. Thank you. Thank you. 
So all you potential singing stars out there, come up, give me your name, please. And I said I'm one of the other guys, and he said Eliza a lot, so. They're all just getting a little bit warmer. How come you didn't bring this one now? Just getting a little warmer. Oh, so that's pretty cool. It's blue tongue skink. Now, so cool. <laughs> obviously, yes. you are much more comfortable with this animal than I am. Yeah, so I'll let you describe in your own words. So while this one here doesn't actually have any legs, legless is one of our legless lizards. And we know that he is a lizard despite not having those legs because he has ears on the side of his head. So that means that Legolas is able to hear everything that's going on around us the same way that we can hear each other. Versus the snakes do have ear openings, but they have scales that cover it up, so they more pick up on vibrations. So Legolas is one of the two legless lizards that cause re calls Reptilia Whippy home. Um, and he's pretty cool because his tail is actually the third of his body, and he can lose his tail like many lizards can. Well, thank you, my love. Now if the lizard can go back. <laughs> so this one. This one here. So this one is actually named Punisher. Don't let that name scare you, though. He's a bull python. So what he does is he, if he's feeling scared, he's actually going to wrap himself into a really tight ball and tuck his head under his body. Now looking at what he's doing right now, he's pretty stretched out. He's looking around, he's sticking out his tongue so he can smell the air. Uh, so he doesn't feel scared right now. He's not showing any signs of being scared. Now, as a ball python, he's actually one of the most common animals to surrender to reptilia. Over 80% of the animals that you can actually see walking around the zoo are rescued for surrender. So he's one of those snakes that was actually surrendered or uh, rescued that had to be confiscation and dropped off to us by the No, you're way too pretty to look like. Yeah, for sure. Is there anybody else that you want to? 
All right, let's get another one out there. This, uh... Bears open their mouth really, really wide because animals that try and eat Kool-Aid in Australia can see UV light. So they see sunlight differently than we do. And when she opens her mouth really wide and sticks out her tongue as much as she can, suddenly that animal thinks that they're trying to eat a baby dragon because there's light refracting off of that tongue. It's a lot scarier to look at. Now, she's actually just lazily flicking out her tongue right now trying to see if there's any food here for her or any threats. Um, she's pretty comfortable. She is one that our camp kids say hi to a lot. So if anyone does want to touch Kool-Aid the Blue Tongue Skink, she is very nice, I promise. Uh, she does have legs, so she doesn't look like a snake. And we can see her ears, so we know she's a lizard. Do you want to touch? No, no, just see the ears. You can see the ears on the side there, that little hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Snake. That's why she's called Kool-Aid, is the Blue Tongue. And she blinks like a snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw the blue tongue. Yes, I know. Yeah. It's so cool. So we need for Kool-Aid because we like to ask him, oh, does she have a blue tongue because she likes to drink blue Kool-Aid? Yes. We have one named Starburst for the same reason. Um, but it's actually going to be nature's way of protecting her. She has that blue tongue to, uh, to help refract that UV light. Yeah. Deborah, you think you can put him in the goat pen? All right. I do have one more animal. Oh, yeah. Can you Can you Can you Okay. 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 Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, Paul. Ready? Tammy? Yeah. 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 Yeah.